inheritance tax. It can uh, get complicated. Basically, it's 40% of an estate at death above £325,000 allowance. It's not payable on anything left to a spouse. Well, in the Conservative Party, there's a new campaign calling for the abolition of inheritance tax. In fact, it was fronted yesterday by none other than the former Chancellor, Chancellor for a few weeks, Nadim Zahawi. It's an unpopular tax. Polls show that, even though most people, the vast bulk of people, don't end up paying it. But let's spend a few minutes thinking about inheritance tax and reform, the politics and first, the economics. For that, I asked Paul Johnson of the Institute for Fiscal Studies to outline what the point of inheritance tax is. So inheritance tax raises about £6 billion a year, which sounds quite a lot, but out of a budget of around a trillion, it's not a, It's certainly not a very big tax relative to most of the others. It's only 4 or 5% of households that actually pay inheritance tax at death because most of us don't actually have enough to leave. We have less than the several hundred thousand pounds worth of allowance that you get before you actually start to pay inheritance tax. If you were given full carte blanche to redesign the tax system, would inheritance tax exist in a Paul Johnson world? Yes, I think some kind of tax on the movements of wealth down the generations is worth taxing. But given how we think about it, I think the best way of doing it would be to say, if you receive an inheritance, then you are the person who's responsible for paying the tax, rather than taxing the uh, estate that it's left. Ah, so yeah, you, you treat it as income in the recipient. And if I, if I leave my estate to a charity, for example, that don't have to pay tax, well, then the tax wouldn't be paid. Whereas if you left it to someone who was already quite rich, they might be paying a, a higher rate income tax on it. It would also mean that if you left money to lots of different people and they all got a bit, then a lot less tax would be paid than if you left a large amount to a single person on that. I wonder whether this inheritance tax, as at least it it currently exists, is too avoidable, that, that people go to an enormous effort not to pay it and they probably don't pay it, but they've had to go to a lot of trouble to give the government no money. Uh, that, that is, I think, the biggest problem with inheritance tax. They actually charge it quite a high rate, 40%. That's higher than it is in most countries. But if you've got lots of wealth, it's not at all difficult to avoid. There's a long-term saying in economics that um, if you're healthy, wealthy and well-advised, then this is a very easy tax to avoid. And if you're not so healthy, not so wealthy and not so well-advised, then you're probably going to end up paying it. And that doesn't seem like a good basis um, for a tax. And I think it is one of the reasons why it's such an unpopular tax, because people know that the super wealthy don't pay as high a rate as someone who may be leaving a, a, a family home worth a million pounds, which is not so unusual in, in, in London and the South East. Paul Johnson of the uh, Institute for Fiscal Studies there, arguing for reform, but not abolition, particularly taxing in the hands of the recipient, not the uh, the estate.